talking about the music, the entertainment. So many people have gotten their start here. Uh, I mean, it's just fastest. really, really incredible. And um, our Kyle Granger, meteorologist Kyle Granger, who's kind of the king of Sevier County, who also spent some time with Dolly today as well. You're at the Back Porch Theater with um, the story behind the stage, Kyle. Yeah, there's been so many people who have been involved in entertainment here at Dollywood over the years. You see the live show that's going on now as part of the I Will Always Love You Festival. The Back Porch Theater is supposed to resemble the back porch at Dolly's Tennessee Mountain Home, where her and her kin folks, brothers and sisters, would get together, sing with that tobacco stick with a tin can on top of it like they were at the Grand Ole Opry. And Dolly's niece, Heidi Lou Parton, is also performing here on the park now in the current family show and we had a time to sit down and talk with her about carrying on the dolly park legacy since the age of four heidi lou parton has graced the stages of dollywood now she carries on the parton family story in harmonies of the heart many of us have performed here it's not just myself it's not just my aunt dolly a lot of you might remember my dad, Randy. He was here for many years. He's the reason I'm here. And my Aunt Frida, my Aunt Stella, all of Uncle Floyd that we lost a few years ago. Parton says she loves all her Aunt Dolly's songs, but she does have a few favorites, and she's been able to perform one of those since 2012. I love upbeat songs because, I mean, daily life in the world is just, it has a sadness to it. So being able to go back and come on stage and have a fun song like Two Doors Down. I love Two Doors Down to this day. It's still my favorite. I actually get to do it in the show. Parton has been involved in the revamp of the family show, now filling the shoes of her father and taking on more creative roles. There are actually three new songs in the show that a lot of people are gonna be very fond of or maybe somebody younger and new hasn't heard yet but is going to love, they're a lot of fun. Circle of love. Parton says she's grateful for her opportunities, but never wants to ride on anyone's coattails, but earn her way through her own credit. Getting to come here and do this every day and represent not only one of the greatest icons of all time, but an incredible aunt and family member. I mean, what she does for other people, she also does for us. So getting to come here, perform and represent her every day is, it's very humbling. And there are so many employees who stay for a long time. Some employees at Dollywood have been here for decades and decades, making their way up from beginner entry level positions to management. We're gonna talk about one of them for you who's been here for more than 30 years. Robin Bailey has been working at the park for 35 plus. She started baking the cinnamon bread in the grist mill that nice. Brittany's eaten almost all of today, <laughs> and she also works business. in group sales. She has <laughs> no plans to retire. She loves it here. Um, I think probably, you know, I started here when I was a teenager, and um, I've just never wanted to go anywhere else. The way they care for their employees, the way that you're like family with everyone here, I, I just don't think you can find that anywhere else. And one of the neat things, people who've been here for 30 years or more, the people who've been here for 30 years or more get a special personalized plaque, a sign in the park with unique things about them and the jobs they've worked in the park. So mm -hmm. they really try to take care of their employees. Mm -hmm. And you can see those all around the park. They're scattered yeah. all around. So you can pay tribute, if you will, to some of the longer <laughs> serving employees. Speaking of.